What's up guys, Kaylin and Max here. We are outside and we are ready to play. Are you ready to play? Do you got some balls out here? It is a nighttime play because it is after 7 o'clock in Minnesota and where we are, sun has set. Oh, you baby. Oh, a bad throw. My, my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> good boy, good boy. So we're trying out a new headset protocol here. I am wearing the camera on my head, on my forehead, and I can't tell what the angle is like, so I'm going to go ahead and just adjust it a couple of times, just to, so I can get an idea of what's the best uh, for you guys to be able to see. Yeah. Good boy. And we're also going to try and stay in the light for you guys, but just in case I brought this flashlight, that I usually use. Um, actually, my first one broke because I borrowed it to either my husband or my son or somebody, and they, I don't know, use it for something. It broke, and I went and bought another one. So, because I like this one a lot, this is really nice amount of light to have out here. We've been playing outside like this in the same yard since Max was 11 weeks old. That's when we first brought him home and he had had his first shot so he was able to go outside and, and play. <gasps> What'd you get you? And so, this is one of Max's favorite games by the way. What'd you get you? What'd you get you? Sneaky, sneaky Max. Where are you, puppy? Where are you? <gasps> there he is. Do you want? Woo! If you saw me in real life, you'd be surprised that I could do this. I'll tell you what, though. Dogs will keep you active. If you thought that you were too old to play outside, I don't know, 
I'm 36 and I'm still doing it, so. Get a dog, that's all I gotta say. Get a dog. Where'd you get you? Where'd you get you? Otherwise, I'd never go outside in the wintertime, you know? Like, you'd never catch me out here by myself. Hell no, but. I got a baby that wants to play outside. Well, he's so funny, like, he'll ask me to play outside. Because he thinks I need to play outside. Like, he thinks I need to play. So he'll tell me, hey, it's time to go play. Oh, you got two balls. You can't have two balls. You can't have two balls. You can't have two balls. Hey, Daddy Mutt. What'd you do? Wanna catch? Wanna catch him? Wanna catch? Wanna catch? Wanna catch this one? Wanna catch this one? Ready? Set? No? That one? Okay. Ready? Ready? Set? Catch him! <laughs> he does better with that inside. Hard to see outside when it's only half the ball. I was thinking about today, I should make, I have the other half of this ball, and I should make him a little Easter egg with treats inside and stuff. I don't know what Easter is, but. What the crap, though? You went to catch him! Good job! I got time to figure it out before then. Would you go down? Would you go down? Would you go down? Would you go down? If you're gonna get a dog that wants to play outside, um, get a golden because they always want to play with you. They're gonna be more interested in playing with you than they will be playing with any other dog, any other animal. Uh, if it's another person in the house, well, I can't can't speak for that. I mean, I'm his person. I feed him. I play with him. I take him for exercise. We go for T-A-R-R-I-D-E-S, W-A-L-K-S, all that stuff I do with him, so. My husband does take him in the C-A-R quite a bit, but usually it's me, since he was a baby. So, I mean, five years old now, I'm the person. Plus, like, I rely on him most for emotional support, because I'm an emotional person. Good dog! And so, like, baby you want to get him and like goldens like to play fun games like like he wants to tease me and make me chase him for this toy and like every golden has their own personality when it comes to playing oh you good boy you like to get him do you like catching this one this is a really fun one huh good boy and so like they're always gonna want to come up with a new game for you and they're really good about teaching it to you too so you're not like what do they want me to do? Like, they'll tell you what they want you to do. You just gotta pay attention to the body language, really. Sometimes they'll bark. And it's like, like with him, if it's something he wants me to do and I'm not doing it, he's like, woof. And then he'll kind of nod to it so I can figure it out. Ready? Set. Good boy. Good dog. I actually taught him to play catch when he was, well, first I taught him to, to play fetch when he was a baby, and we used to play with a giant soccer ball so he could see it. Oh, now we're playing tag. What'd you get you? <gasps> you silly puppy! You silly baby! You can't go out there! You can't go out there! started making up tag after that, so keep away or whatever. Mm, you're making 
mama tired. You're wearing me out, boo boo. He's already had a play time outside today, plus a car ride. <laughs> and that was to McDonald's and Caribou. Well, we didn't go to Caribou. My son walked to Caribou from McDonald's because he didn't want to wait for the McDonald's. Good boy! He loves to catch. He loves to do all the, the things. The thing is, though, he doesn't want to do them by himself. He will only do this with another person. Other dogs he doesn't care about playing, really. If there's a, a person available, he wants to play with the person. So, good boy. That's why you want a golden. That among many other reasons, but if you can play outside or you got a kid that loves to play outside, you gotta watch them with a the kid because they do get enthusiastic when they're little. What a good boy! What a good boy! And you don't want them to, you know, get a little too enthusiastic playing with with really small kids that they can knock over or whatever. But what a good boy! You can see he gets some serious air when he's jumping too. Like they're crazy. This is a five-year-old and he's still running around like a puppy. You know. He does always eat really good stuff, though. That is one heck of a fast airplane or whatever. Dang, you see that thing? That's like, that's like a fighter jet almost. I don't know if you can see that. Holy crap, though. It looks like it's 747. From my view. Might be too dark for the video to pick it up, but. Good to get you. You tired? <laughs> He's tired. All right. Should we get a cold bottle? Are you ready? Okay. Should we go inside? Okay. Yeah, you good dog. We good boy. You good dog. You silly. I thought you were all done. Are you all done? Are you all done? You want mommy to get you? You do? <laughs> oh, I see. I see. You just wanted to get away up there. They're so expressive in their faces and their body language. Like, this dog is the most communicative dog ever. What'd you do? And I've worked with a lot of different dogs. And no, I just think he's the best one. I'm pr you know, not that I'm not biased, but breed-wise, you know, there's a reason they're a super popular breed. A lot of people can get along with them. The only thing is, if you're disabled or you're not able to, you know, get out there and give them the exercise, they will tear up your house. They need at least an hour a day, at least. And you gotta break that up a little bit. He likes to get like two or three hours of exercise. Like, if we were out here for three hours playing over the course of the day, that's the happiest dog you ever saw in your life. Tell you what. Where's your good boy? Where's your good boy? I'm glad I finally hooked up this camera. I've had this camera set up for like six months. Never bought, never use it. I might have even bought it longer ago than that. Good dog! There's a good dog! I mean, I've been intending on using it forever, so I'm, I'm glad that I finally did it. This is the first time I've used this headset th contraption thing, so. Finally coming in handy. Finally using our, our video maker. Hey, Max. Are you on the camera? Oh, you good dog. You want to catch him? Oh, see that? Sweating. Okay. Catch him. Good boy. If your dog gets like, like sweaty and they're tired, you can do, but they don't, you know, sometimes they don't want to stop playing even when they're tired. You can do smaller catch ups where they don't have to jump. Okay. Catch him. Just like that. You just got to do smaller throws. Good boy. Good boy. And if you have like, neoprene gloves like this. This is the best for winter fetch. 
Because I can be out here for obviously like an hour with him. And as long as I'm moving around, I'm not cold. I'm picking up toys. My, my hands are not wet. I'm completely dry. I can throw snowballs. I can be shoveling, whatever. Good boy. Good boy. You good boy. And I'm not cold. So um, if you live in a climate like I do where you've got a heavy winter, this is really good to have. These will go down to probably a good negative 45. They're, I think they're rated for negative 20, but um, if you got like a commute to work in negative 45, as long as you warm up your car, you'll be good to go. We gotta get out of here. There's other people walking outside. Not enough energy to play with them, huh? Should we go get a cold bottle? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's get a cold bottle. So, cold bottle is cold water bottle. Um, you'll see I use a lot of shorthand with him because he knows a lot of phrases. And uh, shorthand is really short phrases work really well for dogs. If, you understand them, uh, if you're consistent, they'll learn them quickly. Um, for example, I taught I taught him to tap in one night, which is you hold up like a piece of paper or like paper plate or something like that, something that same shape and put it in different places and ask them to tap on it with their nose. And um, he learned that in a night. So I was actually watching uh, this dog training YouTube channel called McCann Dog Training. It was really good, actually. I was surprised at how good it was. Good boy. Good boy. And uh, they had some really interesting um, trainings for dogs. And so I was kind of looking up what they suggested, and that was one of the games was to teach that to your dog and move the target around to get them, you know, tired out without actually needing to go outside and exercise, like one of those winter indoor games. So that channel is awesome if you like to, um, I'm actually going to feature that channel, I think. Good boy. Oh, you're good boy. I'm going to feature that channel on my channel, actually. I need to set that up. That's one of the best new channels I've found lately. Oh, Tiger. Did you try Tiger with you? Hmm. I think I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I'm going to probably sit here with Max while you have some more water and yeah, you are a good dog. Probably afterwards, um, bring him upstairs and we'll go sit by my husband and get on my computer and play a little um, Elder Scrolls online and just kind of hang out. I mean, I'll probably edit this and, and look at it because I'm really anxious to see how it's coming out with this new camera. So. Thanks so much for watching us, and um, give us a like and subscribe if you want to, if you liked our video. Um, leave any suggestions that you have for the channel. We're still a new channel, so would love to know what you'd like to see. And if we can, we'll make it happen. Um, this is just kind of a channel for me and Max to let our hair down and have fun. <laughs> See you later. Bye, friends. Bye, camera.